different kind of cars and I went different kind of trips. I got way too many bras, every day another bitch. I get way too many cars, you know that's way too many miss. Don't need trip out your hoe, you know it's way too many fish. <laughs> whatever I do, yeah, I did that. And whatever you want to go through, yeah, I'm with that. Alright, y'all know what the fuck going on, man. It's your boy, y'all. Uh, your boy here. Hustle Director. And welcome back to the Doghouse Podcast. We back with a new episode. We got special guests in the building. It's Queso. It's Nira J. We the Hood Angels. You already know what the fuck going on. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> like so, but people that don't know, let them know like, what y'all do and where y'all from. We rappers and we from Philly. Mm-hmm. That's not helping us. We're what right. part of Philly? Yeah. We from we from Philly. north side of Philadelphia. Yeah, yeah. you know what the fuck going on? Whoa. Go on our Instagram, honey. Five 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 Shh. two underscores queso. Whoa. Three underscores. Three. <laughs> <laughs> five 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 because I love me a good change, and that's like new beginnings change. Change your number type mm-hmm. shit. Okay. Um. So we all get in, like the name for angels. Um. One of my, like, my little sister, all right, my little sister was like, y'all really good girls from the hood. Like, y'all her angels. And we just ran with that shit, for real. Oh, like, sure. the meaning and everything. Oh. Oh, my bad. The meaning and everything. We ran with that shit. So, all right, just tell us, like, start from the beginning. Like, tell us how you grew up and all that, both of y'all. Well, I grew up in North Philly, you know. Um, I ain't come from shit. I ain't had shit. That's why... You know, I'm running with this shit, and, you know, I'm going to get where I'm going and shit. And we collabed on that. You know, we both, we got similar stories. We collabed with this yeah, shit. Yeah, our background is kind of similar. We grew up in the same place. Mm-hmm. Type shit. What place is that? Like, Literally. Like, same what, the exact hood? Well, like my, uh, well I don't rep no hood. Different. Yeah. yeah, I don't rep no hood. I barely, my mom ain't really let me outside anyway. So, so. What's, what school was y'all going to? I went to Blaine. Blaine. I went to, like, all these schools. I don't even know what Blaine does. James G. Blaine, um, it's right off 29th and Bridge. So, okay, so now I'm familiar. Like, did y'all meet each other? Though? Right. Um, I was, how was I? 18? 18? 17. She did my hair first for yeah, I'm a hairstylist. my birthday, yeah. yeah what's your, uh, your uh, business for your hairstylist, or is it all under the same? No, it's not the same. It's Key Stylist on most of the city, know me, though. Oh, oh my Yeah. Boy. She the tell you the city, real right. <laughs> Type, shit. Type shit. So talking about, so when did y'all like? Or I want to start rapping. Like this is my passion now. So we linked up one day and like we was just chilling, listening to some Summer Walker type shit or some cool shit. Mm-hmm. We both water signs, so we emotional yes. type shit. So oh, please don't be one of them girls. Y'all one of what girls? Y'all go by the signs. We go by the signs. We don't go by like we don't go by them all the way. Like you know we. But still... it, it definitely is an embodiment of our character. Mm-hmm. Like I feel like. I'm a so, Pisces, but, she a Scorpio, we go together, babe. Yeah, like, we soulmates. Yeah, so, it's compatible. It went from you doing her hair to, like, like damn, we both know how to rap? She only we did knew, my hair one time. Yeah, though. we we knew mutual people. No, okay. actually twice, because we your prom, too. Yeah, but I'm saying, oh, you, are you? Yeah, I did her first weave ever. So, like, yeah, yeah. she did, she did. So, <laughs> yeah, she was coming to me. She was my client, and we linked up. We, we knew mutual people, so we seen each other outside of, like, mm-hmm. me doing her hair and shit. And we linked up and shit, and we we was catching the vibe. But I, I wrote a rap, and I just was like, you know what? Cause she been she was already rapping. We both was already rapping. So you know, we started off as friends, like we friends dead rap. So she came over. I read her my rap. She was like, oh shit, that shit. All right, no, like, that's not how it went. Actually, you hit me up. You was like, I'm trying to pop. My oh yeah, shit. I'm ready to pop my shit. You for was real. Like, I'm ready to pop my shit. I'm like, like pop together. It then. I'm like, pop it then. You, she was like, you want to hear what I got? So I came over. Mm-hmm. She read me her rib. I'm like, that shit hot. Like, we hit the stool. Because <laughs> we, we knew if on. we pop this shit the way we pop it together, it's going to be like nobody never even did this shit. Like, we came first. What event happened shit. to you that made you just want to go in the studio and pop your shit? Um, <laughs> That's a good one. You know what's crazy? I'm not going to say who run it came out, but I definitely seen some shit from her. Okay. And I was mm-hmm. like, yo, like. It's that time, like, for real. Like, Herb and Bibby, like, when they together and shit. Because Bibby wasn't even in the song. He was just in the video. And it just looked like, yeah, like, it's time, for real. <laughs> Plus, I never really met a friend who was interested in the same shit that I'm interested in. Uh, yeah, that's why she hit me up, because she knew I already, I, I already was into the shit that she was trying to do. Right. So. You wasn't scared, though? Wasn't nervous at all? Stern I mean, right. she was nervous with me. Yeah, both of y'all. Well... Yeah, not to rap together. I started ripping at thirteen, and I had an elective in school where we rap and we rap battle. So I was the only girl in that class. It was all niggas back then. A lot of girls didn't rap, so I had to introduce myself <laughs> with a rap for, and I did it to um, Meek Mill's Dream Chasers or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't go to No, it wasn't a contest, oh. but we 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 did contests every Friday. We rap battle, so it'll be like. 
I started in like seventh grade. And we'd be better than like twelfth graders and shit. Did oh. y'all grow up and like people would like y'all uh, probably like cousins or somebody that was rappers or y'all just? Oh, my like, uncles. My uncles was rappers. Okay. My uncle did too. My That's uncle died rapper. though. And he was the best rapper for real. He better um, <laughs> AR Ed. And my dad. My dad rap. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I really do got a lot in common. Mm-hmm. So would y'all say this like that's the y'all inspiration for rapping today, or did it come from somewhere else? No, my inspiration just came from like I always was like a singer type shit, but I never had like I I ain't, I couldn't imagine myself going on stage and be busting a note and shit. Like I was just that shit wasn't it for me. So I'm like, but when I so one day I was already writing songs since I was little, but one day I turned one of my songs into a rap, and that shit was just. Like, I felt that shit. I was like, this is what I'm meant to do. <laughs> My first performance was at, like, 13. Like, shit? yeah, in front of a crowd. Oh, shit. Yeah. So what was that moment for y'all, like, when y'all realized, like, all right, we the shit? I feel like I still be realizing it, like. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. but don't get me wrong. We had, like, a lot of trials and tribulations on this for journey. Sure. Like, it was people that, like, was like, y'all not this right now. Like, y'all not. Mm-hmm. Y'all need developing, like, type shit. And we had to eat all that and, like, make improvement. And we did that shit, so. I feel like I was really the most confident in us when we first started rapping because at that time, we just was doing that shit because we enjoy it. It wasn't, like, because we trying to be rich or we trying to do this. We just was rapping because we some rapping ass Back then, she definitely <laughs> had the hunger. Like, she really did. Like, I did. But the thing about it is I felt like we wasn't ready at the time, and so did other people. And it's, it's like they pushed us into a lane that we wasn't familiar with. So we got kind of familiar with our lane and that lane at the same time. And it, it like, made us better better rappers and, like, diverse and shit. Because I feel like, oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. You go ahead. I would say, what's some, like, obstacles I feel like y'all face being girl rappers? Um, Everybody feeling like because you rapping about your coochie, that's all you can rap about. No, I'm rapping about it because... I want to right now in a moment. <laughs> like, it's not about because, like, like, the fuck? Like, and you want some. So what is we talking about? Like, that's all it be about. Like, I don't get it. I don't get and it. And it's a double standard. Like, really niggas is. talk about that shit all the time. Exactly. Like, what's really to you? But it's more than that. It's it been more than that. Also, the way, we, the way we dress sometimes, we did an event or whatever, and... They was in the comments bashing us. Oh my god! What they was talking all the shit. <laughs> they said, <laughs> "Coming." They said, "How the fuck is we supposed to compete when when girls is coming outside dressed like hookers?" Did I'm like hookers? <laughs> that taking me a bit because. We be Whole looking time good they shit. was loving us. Which. They they knocked down a Bouncy house they to get us. Like they the they week. was like they was taking pictures. They was putting their little boyfriends in the camera. Can you take Real a picture of my man? And that's a good All girlfriend. That's a good girlfriend. No, no, it's not. She said say, that's not. Oh, she said I want my girl, my boyfriend to have a picture with a bad bitch. Period. Oh, that's 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 that was thorough. Like you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, he still good, went home with his bitch. He left his girlfriend. Like, not a, that's not thorough. That's thorough for he went end. home with his girlfriend. Yeah. That's thorough. Yeah. Our end. That's the case. Yeah. She's supposed to take a picture. Of we not know. We ain't even celebrities. <laughs> and yeah. I don't know why they asked that, but I yeah, mean, that's crazy. You know? no, bro, if you, bro, if your girl, no, girl no. You got you got yeah, because that's nah. not. That's I mean, a win. A win is a win. A win is a win. A fucking win. A win is a win. What did you do to make me want to take? Nah, I'm cool. There's some backstory to oh that. Oh my god, cool. no, I'm. Why you, you want me to take this picture so we bad? Was like, walking nah, I'm cool. no, she was like, y'all so cute. Oh you my right? Gosh. I could yeah, do that because cool. I could I'm see cool. a girl being like, oh, you want to keep look? Oh, oh, you want a picture? Oh, it was nah. some sarcastic shit. No, but, but she wasn't on it. She though. wasn't. She wasn't. You don't know what she was on. No, because <laughs> 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 her face, like, <laughs> oh my goodness. But that's you know we had more obstacles than that you know, and the outfit we had on. When I tell you, so many girls is wearing the outfit right now. We see it on the Explore page. All the time. <laughs> All the bitches is eating outfit up. Not only that, working with men in the industry, they, like, be trying to talk to you. They be trying shit. to separate like, us, too. It's, like, not straight on business type shit. Like, I hate that part. Right. So, I want to, like, for people that obviously can tell, like, y'all have, like, a crazy style. Like, how would y'all describe yourself? Because, like, even outfits now, it's, like, real, like, loud and different. Compared to like everybody else now, try to look the same and all of that. <coughs> oh, y'all you feel like they loud and different. Well, like, I appreciate that. You know what? <laughs> I like that. They get yeah, they y'all shit, get though. our steez a little bit, mm-hmm. a little bit. I feel like the best thing about our style is that we don't be trying. That's like, my it just favorite be effortless, part. Wait, like, so you're telling me y'all individually just picked out that outfit? Yo, you know how many times this happened? Lots you not. 
before this even started to be a collaboration thing, we would sometimes <laughs> pop up somewhere with the same exact outfit on. So we just start using that shit to our advantage because we knew, like, I could call her and be like, what you got in your closet? And I know she got something <laughs> that I got in my closet. Like, I literally could call her and say that. <laughs> like, it really be a coincidence. Like, Yeah, on- the boots is what we had the same um, initially in this. We had the same boots. And I was almost certain she had this shirt. Yeah, I, I I actually ordered it after. But yeah. I, was, but I was pretty sure you, you got the silver one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you already had similar dressing styles before you even mm-hmm. really was together all the time. No, yeah. Mm, yeah, but I feel like I kind of blossomed into myself. Honestly, I feel like, in a way, when you don't got, I'm going to be real, when you don't got no money for real, it'd be hard to throw that shit on the way you want to. So when you actually no get money some money, no fun yet. yeah, people people will say you change, <laughs> no but for real, for real, you just embracing yourself that you, you never got a chance to for real. Level so up. Yeah, mm-hmm. like, type shit. type shit. Like, that's how that shit went. You know, I used to be regular, regular type type girl, like ponytail, hoodie on, and some fucking, uh, what? I probably had on some felines. Some new balances type shit. I'm in the stool. I'm raping. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about nothing else. Yeah, right. I was always kind of girly. Like, yes, I was always. always. I was always girly. So what's some ways like y'all compliment each other like in the studio, make each other better? Um, I feel like we feed off each other energy like type shit. Like sometimes it might be a slow day for me, and like we'll like that's where our back and back to back shit came from. Cause mm-hmm. like sometimes if she come up with a bird, I could renege off that and be like, all right, I got a bird. And we go back to back type shit. And it make it easier for songwriting when we got our slow days. When one of, one of the other got a slow day. And then it became fun to piggyback off each other and like go line for line and shit. It became like really fun. But we done made whole ass verses in the studio too. Like, I don't know. Like, we just pick up off each other energy and shit like that. So, like, writing or y'all off the top? Well, Both. most of the time we do off the top. But like, we write too. But most of the time now, it's like, yeah, it'd be off we ain't right in a year, you could say. Damn. Oh, wow. <laughs> we haven't. But we're going to start, because that's, that's that's the fullest, you know, that's like the fullest potential when you write and you really think shit out. Yeah. So we're going to definitely Before we more. continue, quick word from our sponsor. All right, so with y'all being like rappers and y'all like being always busy, is it kind of hard for y'all to be like in relationships and stuff like that? Like, how do y'all go out with that? Um, yes. Mm. I feel like that. Right and I feel like I feel like <laughs> people when I'm in a relationship, people really get jealous of the type shit I gotta do. Like be here and here and here type shit. It just don't intertwine like that. Mm-hmm. I feel like I'm better off single. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. You get that call. Where you at? I'm in the studio with G Herbo. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you think you playing with? Like yeah, that's, that's not even a crime. Like uh, oh, if I if if if, 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 if SZA called me to the studio while we sitting in our bed and I just leave you in the bed don't take it don't you go out like the studio that, with though. sister like, but either way it don't, it don't go know, like that right? all the time but, like. but now I don't go like that but G Herbo just but called you the, why sister, sister, why sister can't call crack though who know you don't know you like don't damn why sister want one crack but, but this is what I'm saying who like, the fuck saying are? that we gonna let them crack like, but this is what I'm saying it's just it's just we trying to break down we trying to break down yeah we trying to break down a double standard but that's when you look into your partner because they're insecure and they don't trust that's what I'm saying that's Nah, nah. It's, nah. it's, it's, not it's not always insecurity. It's just, it's just, it's just, it's just logical. Down, like, so but like who's turning like down opportunities to make a man feel better? Who's no, doing nobody. this? Nobody. Nobody's nobody. doing this. I mean, you should trust your partner. Like, you should listen, trust your partner. If you, if you can't trust him, why you with him? We human at the end of the day. Right. right. It's true. It's trusting. Then you got logic. See, Breeze, Usher, one of them niggas in there. They I'm not with it. Usher is crazy. I'm not with it. I do not give a fuck about Chris Brown, Usher, Trey songs. And these niggas singing and dancing and pop like I ain't cool. Access denied. That shit over. No. Shit is over. Shit is over. Why you even want to be in there with us? No. Well, we, why you even right. want to be? Because she want to no, sing. They're right. You want right. That shit over. I, that, if that was the response, that shit really over. Oh, what, bro? Down. I want. Want to be? Down. Nah. See how he get? He do. Roller skate on your bitch. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm cool. You on it. Roller skate on my bitch. On top of it. No way. Roller skate on your bitch is crazy. So, well, he do it. So we. Right, yeah, so that shit over. How y'all, how y'all feel like, like? How y'all feel like y'all impacted the female rap scene in Philly so far? Well, damn, I don't even know if we had did that yet. Did you? <laughs> what you think? I mean, I did hear a little couple words and some. Oh no. <laughs> oh, no. I did. I did. Um, I can say definitely. I be seeing y'all little outfits. I'm going to just say that. No, <laughs> That's okay. it. It be cute, though. Eat them up. Because I be on Pinterest. You know, sometimes I might get a little inspo from a shoe, a photo what's shoe. The, I want to do a little funny? photo shoe. Like, 
I didn't. Even, <laughs> I ain't know. I, I don't even know what that's for. I love you don't be on there. I be on there, but like, I be well, on there. You don't got nothing to be on there for. I don't know what the fuck you talking about. I be on there for like the shit in the bed, cause like you go on IG, see the same fit you see on the X. Oh, see, no, I don't do that. There's no creative. I don't do that. There's no creativeness going. Let me clarify. No, she was saying inspiration. Yes, when it comes to like poses or the way that somebody had angled the camera for a photo shoot, we doing. Let's stuff be like clear. Most half the world inspired right now. Yes, yeah, for sure, for sure. Right. You gotta be inspired by somebody. But well, exactly. I, I feel like we. I don't know. Like who really? Yeah, who? What you think? I feel like shit. Us. Like I no, like, no. But when it comes to like style, style. You know who I like? Who y'all really Morticia like? from the Adams Family. She actually inspired my Wait, photo what? shoot. Is that why you got? Like, y'all like, y'all bring I feel like, like Sugar and Spice. Is that the I feel girl? like the main character. I feel like that's Wednesday, but no. I feel like Sugar and Spice definitely. Sugar and Spice, they're transgenders. You wouldn't know them. Yeah, I don't know. Whoa. Literally. Yeah. Sugar for one, let's talk wait, about, wait, let's talk about how, how if you watch RuPaul Drag Race or <sighs> Trannies Dress, period. Wait, you gotta wait, be mature for this conversation. So, okay? so a man, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, so let's just, wait, wait, I just, I, I, just I got a simple sure, question. It's just a simple question. It's just a simple question. Just a simple. So a man, a man inspired you how to dress? This is the thing, though. A lot of gay men and the fat, they literally. They live, they eat sleep, in the fashion breathe, world, fashion. Like, like literally. Gucci, Louis, all of them, everything. All, they, all of them, you need. Yeah. They eat the fashion world up. And when they put on RuPaul Drag Race, they too. get into drag, they walk down the runway, they have fire looks. So when we put it on, what's happening? They eating it up. The fire. And half they looks be original. Everything, every, a lot of women be copy and paste. They look exactly. be completely original. Like they make shit from sewing machines. They copy print. Jay the Waiter. <laughs> That's literally all the fits. Jada Wada and Ori. And not to say they don't be they be throwing that shit on. They look good. You know, they inspire people, but you know, everybody different. And I like how trainees dress. So here. so um with them trying to follow after other people, do you feel like every I wanna see every girl, but girls they're like, All right, cool, they need to go get the surgery for the big butt or get the surgery to get you feel me, just get their body changed. Like a lot of females try to change their body to fit in with the culture today. Everybody do it for different reasons. You know, I do I, feel like it's for different reasons, yeah. but I do feel like a lot of it is influence. I think it's social media. Overall. Yeah, like a lot of people who don't want to fit is. But some people got insecurities. Like some people don't feel like they clothes how they like, or like you know they put on a dress they don't got enough of this or that. So it be like deeper reasons than. Do y'all saying, think right? if you want a fat ass, you insecure? No, no, no. no. Hell no. Right, you definitely gonna you definitely gonna go work for it. Definitely gonna go work for but it. But do you feel like if you was a mom and you just had a baby and your body is in shambles, go work for it, baby. Go work for it while you taking care of your baby and you a single I, mom because the baby dead. Single? Wait, wait, wait. wait. Single, single mom. We're not gonna talk about. Why that. was she That's automatically a, a single mom? But don't you I still think gotta work out money. after that. Yeah, you do. Yeah. I mean, sometimes yeah, you, do. you do. No, you I'm do. You do. A lot of people. Not a lot of people's bodies good. go bad because they don't work out after yeah, they get their body done. Like I'm not going to think you about to go back to getting hot Cheetos on it. Listen. Yeah, that's true. I'm of not going to care. I love stress But a lot of times it's not for the men. It's for the women. When you get a mommy makeover, it's because... You feel you go through for one, you go through the depression after you had a baby, and it's just stuff like that. Like you know, you gotta get used to how your body. I know if y'all could get y'all dick done, like niggas will be out getting their dick done. We not about to see her act like that's the truth. That's the same. It's a pride thing. Men got pride. If you was bored with a little dick, come on, you're going to get your dick done. That's on them. Like be real. I said niggas got pride, but they be having strengths too. They would get it done. Exactly. That's on them. And it wouldn't be not. I wouldn't even judge them. I'm be real. I wouldn't. The it's, why then why do dick girls exist and shit like that? Think, Where ever like grow two more inches, you don't be seeing shit like that. No. Yeah. No. What the got fuck y'all be looking at? No, I know y'all no, don't do it, but I'm saying if you but can get a people BBL, in the world that do. Like, no, I, said, I, I don't know y'all heard. I just said I said whatever makes her feel beautiful, yeah. do it. I'm not against it. I be yeah, that makes sense. Big ass tits. I don't. Man, I feel like she basically that shit dangerous. I'm cool. Go over to the gym. She basically saying like she basically that shit dangerous, bro. That's one of the most dangerous Jones in the world. They look in the mirror. They're ashamed of their body, so they get their body done. I'm not basically like the same not bros. so much of a shame but if you're unhappy with yourself and you got the money you to just get be unhappy. Listen. why wouldn't you just go get that shit tucked what's right, the point shout out you, shout out the bro like, shout out that's crazy sex work, i would advise you to do it you're gonna make more money bro. that's an investment that's a lie shout out shout out really the, shout out the different body types in the bed i was about to say that yeah sure. they want to be with a bitch with a bbl but they want to fuck a bbw it's people like that Y'all got everybody learn, like, got y'all think y'all yeah, got shit everybody figured Everybody got different body types, like, y'all like y'all different y'all preferences y'all and type y'all shit. Y'all, 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 y'all think y'all got this shit figured out. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm with y'all. No, uh, I don't know nobody. Before, before we finish, a quick word from our sponsor. This podcast is officially sponsored by Rec6, the outerwear you got to carry with care. 
Yeah, make sure y'all tap in with Rec Six, man. The hottest clothing brand in the city, sponsored by the hottest podcast in the city. Yeah, please tap in, check all the details. Tell you. I know y'all probably running like, damn, what do Bro be having on with the six in the back with the RE? You feel what I'm saying? Y'all know y'all already seen. Y'all tap the fuck in, man. Please tap in. Come on now. Y'all don't tap in. You're a fucking loser. Y'all went home. My grandma had it on. It, it was just out here. Please just uh, get them a breakdown where it stand from and like what it mean. Man, Rex, Rex mean king. Uh, six mean just family, and uh, I got your back. I started just, I like clothes, man. I just like real different type of clothes. The soft clothes, the material clothes. And um, one day I just really just started my own brand and they rock with me. So definitely. Real high quality. Definitely. Real high quality. Appreciate it, man. And don't forget to carry with care. Uh, so my thing, I like to talk about like uh, different relationship topics. So I want to know like, at like any point of dating, do you have like a girl should initiate paying? <laughs> like a date. Um, initiate? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if so, like, how many dates? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you Me said, you said going, going into dating? Like, dating. Like, a guy can dating, take you should, out. Should, like, should he initiate? A guy take you out on a date. What date? What, what number, uh, date? Like, first, second, third date do you, like, end up paying? Like, or you, like, like, at least offer? Personal opinion. Like, a girl Me, ever, personally, no. I'm not, I'm not doing it. That's so you'll go 20 days straight, never offer? <laughs> because That's the person, for one, I actually met a man... Who do not care? So that no, we're not saying about. Who, I'm just, do you do you, you think? You I no, I get that. Uh, uh, listen, that's a lie. I'm lying. Yes, I would do that. But the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. No, I'm not doing that. I'm gonna keep it a bean. I'm not doing that shit for a nigga until we in a relationship. If we just dating, that's not gonna work for me. You courting me at the end of the day, right? So <laughs> it's not gonna be like once we get once I get got. Then I could uh, all right. So, uh, so, so, all right. So, so, so listen, so listen. I got, I got a quick question, right? So some people they might say if the female asks you out, they paying. Like it's basically like, all right. Who I, asking the nigga out? No, no, you be surprised. No, no. Wait. Yo, no, well, some well, girls. Yo, y'all think y'all got shit figured out? Right. That's kind of. I mean, girls, y'all. Philly girls, they be asking niggas out. They be like, they be like, come on, let's go here, let's go here, let's go to the aquarium, let's go. Yeah, yeah, that be dope. Say you something like, oh, this a cute day, we should go here. Right. And they, and they be paying for you. Yeah, I get I, that. Me, me personally, I don't like females that pull out their wallet and even have to pay. That shit's out of pocket, me personally. I like, get that. You don't got no manners, but at the same time... Yeah, you don't got, got no manners. manners. <laughs> no, but no, niggas no, really no, be no, feeling no, like no, that, no, though. At the same time, though, if you don't leave a tip for the waitress, you can go ahead. That's like $2 if you want to do mm. that. But like, in terms of the middle, don't think that shit. I'm going to keep it real. Now, now, if you pay, I'm not going to lie to you. I wouldn't show up at the next day. I'm keep it over. What? what? This nigga lying. He's talking crazy. He's lying. Bro. Bro. He's lying. <laughs> Let me hear from him. Let me hear from him because no, he seemed lying. like the um the bad guy. Let me see which. No, I'm the nicest one at this fucking. No, thing. Oh. I'm the ni I'm the nicest <laughs> one here. I I swear to God, bro. I swear to God, bro. <laughs> I'm, the, I'm the nicest one here. He ain't paying for nothing. What's his opinion on it? He a cancer. He passionate. You ever? Yeah. See, she ain't she used the right word. Passionate. All that emotional shit be out the window. <laughs> Real right. Yo, Me and Quad got the same birthday. You? He know what's up. Oh, yeah. It's a different. I'm, bro, I'm a cancer. Which is that? I don't show cancer. Oh, yeah, cancer? I'm a Gemini. I'm a Leo. Okay. You're very emotional. Wait, go ahead. What's your sign? Is it a Leo? Oh, y'all two Leos? I'm a Leo. Oh, okay. A very guy with you. A Leo. Okay. Uh, so, so wait, wait, Leo's that, up now. Leo's got. Yeah, like. Bro, niggas. For Wayne, let me tell y'all, because I got a Leo, and they definitely know how to. Yeah. <laughs> a wallet? What's a wallet? What is the fuck is a wallet? Shout out to all Leo. Not a Leo. Shout out to Leo. Wanna be a, wanna be a part of the team? Go ahead, man. What's up, man? Oh yeah, yeah. What is yours? What was the question again? If a girl offered to pay for you on a date, you feel like a girl should ever start offering to pay for a date? I mean, if she wants to. Like, what you want me? To Yes, absolutely. Oh, no, okay. don't don't pay. Like, I'm not, wow. I'm not one of them. I'm not uh, social media, not watching my fucking life. So I'm not about <laughs> to be like, oh no, please don't play. Like, if you want to pay, why that's third. I got you every ever fucking time. I already know this. So if you want to pay, that's on. You I mean that's what's up. I see that you. That makes third. sense. You say yeah. you would not come back. That's just that's me. He's, lying. he's lying. He's fucking lying. lying. No, if, no, I'm saying for girl, you're not going to talk about What if she bad and shit? She a dream girl. Would you come back? <laughs> Coming back every time. No, 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 no. listen, no, no. He, look, look. He, he's I can't, hiding. No, listen, no, no, no. I'm not Kevin. I, I'm kidding. Mm -hmm. What's your reasoning? No. I'm going to tell you right, right? Because me personally, how I was raised, I was raised on, you feel me, always cherish a female. You feel me? Do whatever you have to do for a female. So me personally, no. You know what? Stop, stop. 
and, and, and he grew up good, okay? Bro, I'm, I'm going to raise my son just bro, like that. I'm just, I'm just saying, though, like, I was raised, my mama told me, like, make sure that you, if I mean, you pay for everything. You always do. So if That's a girl true. pay for me, okay, cool, but I wouldn't feel comfortable. Like, I'm, so you going to cut her off? I'm not saying I cut her off, but like, I'm just saying I'm just showing it's up. Like, no, bro. I'm, just, I'm, I'm just saying, like for me, I'm gonna feel like, damn, like. No, I got a question for y'all. Oh, I'm gonna man. feel like I'm breaking. All right, this is my life. question. Good luck, babe. This is my question for y'all, and it's a yes or no because y'all always like to break shit down and dance around a topic. It's a must. Listen, say that you dealing with a girl, right. mm-hmm. and you don't even know what you did, but she socked the shit out you like she knocked your fucking teeth down your throat. Right. You going to bed? Well, yes, no. every fucking time. <laughs> every there? time. No, no. every question. time. No, that no. shit crazy. No, it don't I got sisters. No fuck is you talking uh, about? No, crazy. fuck. That's crazy. Three yeah, yeah, times? No, no. I can't. Nah, pause. Bro. I can't. Speak. I got no. Nah, pause. Bro. I can't. No, I can't speak on. Yo, I can't speak on everybody. So, do but, you feel like? Cause this is the only time I feel like. She said if you. She said if you don't know what you did. Yeah. So y'all in what the it, no. right Sometimes now. girls you just react. A, you at a table and she just react. You don't know what you did. Right. That's what she said. Actually, That's she the threw a drink and slapped the shit out you. Would I punch Whoa, her? Oh, a combo? <laughs> Wait, would I That's punch her? In, insane. You said would I punch her? Okay. Insane. No. I ain't gonna punch you though. You might go in the yoke, but you ain't getting punched though. <laughs> Unexpected, John. Unexpected. My reflex is just gonna reflect. It's just gonna reflect. I could re- honestly, I could respect that. I get that because. But, if I was a boy, I'm hitting you too because like. Oh, what do we? Yeah, yeah, where shit, niggas, niggas know. Some girls hit hard as shit though. Real right, they know how I punch. Like Tashiki can't punch me in my no, face. No, that's a real no, fight. Yeah, like that's not that's not but happening. No, but no, no, but no, no listen teach no. you. Also, real shit. <laughs> me personally, I feel like if a girl hit me. That's cool. Hit me, cause I got sisters. So my sister gonna come back and beat no, me. No, my sister can't. My oh, sister can't bro. transport. No, fuck that. Like I, I need to. No, I need to no, get back no, right no, now. I'm cool, bro. Bro, bro. No. Why y'all, bro? bro. Why y'all putting yourself in a predicament because to get locked I'm not up putting, or something? Bro, I'm not you putting my family in my up? relationship, bro. You that's, gonna tell? That's scary, bro. No, no, bro. Pull, pull. What? <laughs> if we hit y'all, if these calling the cops. Oh I like the love where I beat you the fuck up. The cops come. You a bail me out. I'm not saying I bail me out. I'm nah. not saying I prefer that. I'm just saying that like I love that deed. Yeah. I don't. Contract you over there for the cops. No, I want to put I'm hands on my man, but I need ever... him to still be there for me. Yeah. No. What? Contract if, over. If it led there, because it's fine. certain, it's certain right things. Yes, I'm going to slap the shit out you. Yes. But it's you, know, shit, but yes, you wouldn't want him to hit you while I hit him. Because it's different. You had to do something to have me fucked up. Exactly. Oh. What the f- So if you got so, me so, fucked up, so you can go upside your head. Up. He can go upside all your head all crazy, crazy. like a lifetime nah, movie. Yeah. What's a reasonable example to hit him? Okay, let me tell you. A bitch calling your phone. Actually, not even a bitch. I don't know what's a bitch yet. I just see an initial. They calling your phone, right? Okay, type shit. And I'm like, pick the phone up. Mm-hmm. And no, you don't pick it up. I'm beating right? the fuck up. Pick that fucking uh, phone up. We together. You're abusive. That's abuse. I'm in I'm a straight hitter. What the fuck? No. But why you got the name saved as an initial? I'm a hitter with a It's a trend. They're not important. They're a trend. You know why he didn't do that? Because his shit connect to the car immediately. It what? Like, That's why my man's connect. always calling me. No, the bros, the bros. always calling me. I'm not working. I don't got time on right now. This nigga's like, oh, it's a trend. Today. Damn, all right, my fuck. You a liar. We can tell. He's not a liar. He's not a liar. I am. Uh, I'm taking that shit to the grave. Whatever. <laughs> They tell me I t- I no, he tell too much of the truth. Yeah. If anything, he volunteers information. Yeah, you don't even got you don't even got ask me gonna tell yeah. you. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't fucking with nobody last night, but I was sitting in bitches' faces. You like, I didn't ask you what you did last night. <laughs> yeah. Right, he gonna let you know. I will bust that jug, little bitch. So I ain't ask you none of that. <laughs> oh, y'all are hilarious. Yeah. Let him pop his shit. Uh, <laughs> but no, that's abuse. Y'all are abusive. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. I can feel myself with. It's so many ni- scenarios where a nigga could get socked the shit out of It shouldn't be. That's abuse. Why you don't That's just domestic walk away? violence. What you mean walk away? Why don't y'all say, walk away? I walk away a lot. No, we don't hit chicks. Not hitting them, but like. I hit a girl. That's if y'all made anything, why y'all don't walk away? Yes, I'm mad, I but if you don't, if you can't take getting hit, then Back why up? the fuck is you in a relationship? Is that what you was about to say? Oh, my God. What the fuck? Oh, wait. No, that came out wrong. Listen. No. I'm talking about with a boy. Listen. Hear me out. At the end of the day, if you're going to be cheating, lying, and scheming and shit on the side sometimes, you might get and you want to, and I ask you a question, you don't got no fucking answer for me, oh. yes, you're going to get fucking slapped. Yes. So how long did that take? Like, are Have you slapping answer. from the rip, or is it like... 
All right, let me go through the phone really first. If a nigga lie, like say I go through your phone, right. you know, and I already say, know. say I go through your phone and I see some shit, and I give you the phone and be like, look at it, and you go in there real quick, delete this shit, but like it's not there. Oh. Why? I'm the type to do that. What's going on? Oh, that's not that's even. I'm that's not even smart. I don't know who would do that. Like niggas play on your intelligence like that, and it's just be like, I'm the type person. I, my first like, thought you be like, my face, and I already know. You getting slapped off the rip. Yeah, because you're going to play with somebody else. Keep out your mouth. mouth. The double standard I'm is type crazy. I'm somebody to call me, right? Mm -hmm. And then, like, I erase it real quick. Had one of the guys call me. And then they, but I know the chick know that that time don't match. But I'm going to lie, dog. And you can't prove it. Well, why can't I do that? <laughs> you working too hard. I'm a liar. You working too hard, he bro. He said he just lie. Because <laughs> <laughs> if I know I got court, I got a lot of my way out. This nigga's crazy. You don't, because you're going to get fucked up. Sometimes, 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 we don't deal with beautiful. bitches. Y'all don't. I can sound. tell y'all don't, don't deal with bitches that really actually. Get yeah, busy. like, what? Get like, busy. what are y'all talking about? Who you going to lie because of what? Can't. You ain't even going to lie. can't handle the truth most of the time. No, I ain't. Handle the truth? Why are you giving them the truth to handle? I'm going to keep it real. Because certain things, bro, it might the situation might not be that deep, but you still got to lie because it don't sound believable. I don't be fraud. I mean, I get I get that. I get that, bro. Listen. I Keep it a band. All day. Ooh, yeah, I ain't scared bad. of bitches. Yeah. Real, that be my first go-to. You feel like I'm scared? The fuck? What? My <laughs> biggest thing be, I get niggas. I chose you. So if ooh, we going to talk ooh. about, we're not going to talk about none of that. Like, we're going to talk about why I'm with you. That's okay. it. We ain't about to talk about Whoa. <laughs> we too grown to be lying, for real, about that type of stuff. That's what I feel like. Right, yeah. Type it is. Type so what if you say, I get bitches? You already know what's up. Like I'm going to live. That's crazy. Because that's funny. Because <laughs> you don't get bitches like me. <laughs> Whoa. That's I'm the only one. No, but the crazy part about it is you look at a nigga track sheet <laughs> and it don't add up. Flop, 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 flop. I'm looking at everything. Flop, 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 flop. Listen. If the older bro thinks she fired. I look, I they don't, but listen, I look all around the board. No. I look all around Put the board. Put this bitch on the fucking projector screen. Yo. She gonna have a PowerPoint with her. This one was trash. This one was trash. Like, it don't make sense. It's your own and I'm sense. not even a hater. Like, I <laughs> think your bitches be cute, if anything. The bitches <laughs> no. I done seen, come on. We ain't gonna go there. They was dog I, I don't even get cute niggas. If I'm being real, I don't Wait, just be going in for uh, Chris Brown. Y'all went outside a couple times. Y'all quick to punch somebody and all that. Uh, Wait, so when you... When I said, I ain't gonna lie, I did get played before. I'm That's not right. that. That's right. nothing. Everybody. Yeah, that everybody does. does. That's not why I hit people. Why I hit ain't anybody. I hit people outside. because... You really want to fight niggas. Why are we keep talking about fighting? I ain't gonna lie. Let me keep it a bean. You said hit. Let me keep it a bean. I'm gonna always get my lick back. Whoa. Why? <laughs> Before I even exit the situation. Whoa. This is my whole thing. Can I ask a question? For but I'm never going to expose my hand type shit. Okay. I would never expose my hand. Like, it would be a lick you don't even know about. I'm going to keep it a bean. No. But, so, is that really a lick so, if I never found out? I was about to say. Right? It don't matter. Don't, oh, because I can still look, I can look they stupid, though. They, they don't got to be hurt. It was just the fact that I know it what I It makes you feel better. Yes, it makes okay. me feel better. What's your example of a date? They got to be hurt. Yeah, it's levels. Going on a date. What you say? Going on a date. Yeah, you ain't going to lie. You text a nigga, that'll kill his heart. Yeah, that hurt. I ain't gonna lie. Going on a date, that hurt. I, don't get me wrong. I ain't talking about getting no look back with no, no, no extra nanny shit. or nothing like that. Going on a date still, a nigga still be hurt. That hurt. Yeah, that hurt. Right. Damn, man, honestly, right. that's not even that deep. You, you chilling a nigga well. All you gotta do is be with know, a they, nigga. They All you gotta yeah. do is that's crazy. That too, but have a nigga step in like 10 times harder than your nigga step in, and he oh, coming, and that shit hurts your pride. Oh, like, Especially if you didn't give him nothing, <laughs> and you getting more than now, he gave you. Now he just disappeared. Of course I'm gonna level up questions. 10 yeah. times harder than you. So it really, like, MD yeah, type shit. That's how niggas die. It's crazy. <laughs> that's, how niggas die. <laughs> that's how niggas die. Oh, my goodness. Now money bags that's and disappearing. It's crazy. That's not bad, but y'all talk about hitting a nigga for lying. Uh, what you mean? We don't do the domestic. That's crazy. Oh my goodness! I feel like I'm being blackballed. What you mean? You was, you said a couple crazy statements on this joint today. For real? Yes. That's insane. You a beauty. I was trying to tread lightly. Don't be. Don't be. <laughs> <laughs> don't be. <laughs> right, that's not what I'm saying. You fuck with me? You if you said. play in my that's face, don't be arm length. Basically. No, and that's why niggas no, don't, don't even play no more. Though. They don't play. Don't nobody want to fight. So nobody want to play. That's. I'm not saying I'm Muhammad Ali. Sound I'm like just it. saying. He gonna catch <laughs> you know, these like, hands though. Right. The fuck? You gonna catch something? It don't matter. I'll throw a chair. Oh you my god. Like, all right, so listen, like, y'all get y'all first big check, right? Let's say y'all sign a deal, whatever gets you big. And y'all got money to blow. What y'all doing? I'm getting a crib. No, I'm saying, like, what's some shit y'all would wanna do for yeah, fun? Fuck all that. Like, y'all get 
Just advancement. All right, you got you your, already got you got your mom got a crib. Like yeah, what's something fun that y'all would want to do? We going to Thailand. Oh yeah, we going to Thailand. Yeah. Why Thailand? Ride elephants. And we going. That's, that's different. What type of? They don't stink. Oh my! You, you ever been to the zoo? Yeah. <laughs> you ever been to the, the zoo? Whole, different. Yeah. Elephants. That's no, that's different though. Zoo right now. That's different yeah, though. That's Thailand, different. Thailand, we're gonna do. Yeah, that's different though. For Thailand, it's about the ambiance. I feel like. Don't get me wrong. I feel like a lot of shit we do, we get. I ain't gonna say we get it handed to us, but we be living a life already. I'm, I'm gonna keep it a bean. So it's really gonna be a lot to experience still, but With the we bag. gonna be doing more shit. We wanna do some shit, you we know. Nobody said that we did that. Yes. We travel a lot, we do a lot of shit. We been on boats, we been on this, we been on that. Like, I done fell in the fucking ocean. Like, yeah, no, I wasn't wearing that trip. I, I, I ain't been like on being like a girl rapper? Like, is there like perks that come with it? Like, what, I mean, yeah, like, my friends Free shit. Well, do a lot of free shit type what? shit. Ah. Free appearances type shit. Yeah. But they be like annoying though. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. They be trying People to be annoying to me a lot. Yeah. They if they do it for it's what a motive. I can't lie. For me, it's like I'm in and out with it. I'm in and out. I really feel like sometimes it's no perks <laughs> to being a girl rapper. What? Oh. I feel like a lot of times it's all the it's the downside. If you're not fucking for shit, it's no perks. What? A lot of people I'm fuck for shit. That's why you I just feel like that. You gotta work, you gotta work for perks. Like if you cute, if you cute, if you, if you cute, cute, you get a pass already. No. Like yeah. I don't That's feel like that. Pop. You don't gotta tell you. Bro, don't. listen. If a bitch pretty, she never should be broke. I swear to God, she should yeah. never be broke, bro. Yeah. A lot of niggas feel like that. Though. It's true. That's impossible. Yeah. That's some real shit though. And you know that, bro. Life is not. Bro, when you nice, you can just post your cash set and it don't even seem weird. Hardly. We're like, right. yeah. We're on right. your chicks on their birthday, you could just post your cash up. Random oh, niggas man, hitting you. Be at the bar. <laughs> yo, you want to? Yeah. If a shit. nigga, if a nigga posts his cash up, yo, somebody want to bless my pockets, buy me Honestly, something to eat. He gonna look pop. To me, in twenty twenty four, what is even ugly? Like I don't. Whoa. Really see. We're not gonna do that. If I'm being real, it's you, subjective. Man, it's no but it's some, it's some is, cute like, now that it's not really no ugly bitches. Well, you like, just you did just say that there's no not, ugly, ugly bitches niggas. left. You said? Niggas not. be ugly. That never changed. Like <laughs> that never changed. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I took a trip to space, bro. It's stuff that's still in the world. <laughs> she can't even agree with her. It's still in the world. She said, I just see some shit. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Yeah, that really, piece from outside. I really. It's a lot of bad bitches in Philly. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh, for, right, sure. for every bad for sure. bitch, it's an ugly bitch. So we we can't even, we can't even do that. That's crazy. Every for every bad bitch, it's an ugly bitch. So a lot of it'll never go extinct. That's what I'm saying. Right. That's the real question. What's considered bad? You said what's bad to us. Right, right, that's the real question. I'm like, you gotta have personality. You, you can look nice, but your personality shit. That right, right. Like, that drops you down two fuck, points. Like. Oh, you know who I love, yo. Uh, what the fuck is her name? India Love. <laughs> okay. She's delicious looking. Also, Ruby Rose. Oh my god. Why you be related to her? What? <laughs> How? Don't guess her. <laughs> you know what? I'm done. Like I'll never feel good stuff. Like no. Y'all funny. Well, my question I want to know. Uh, only three different relationships in y'all life. I want to know how y'all feel like those people describe y'all. Okay. So y'all family. Y'all go with an individual answer. A menace. Damn. A menace. Jesus Christ. Shit, I don't even know. Like probably a menace too. I don't know. <laughs> menace. I think wow. Wow. Well, all right, y'all friends. <laughs> um. Shit, who? I mean, who? I it's mean, just us. I mean, I'm, I'm kind right, of, how you think she would describe you? A thousand different fucking ways mm. on different days. But today, she probably will be like, "I'm cool." Like, <laughs> <laughs> so right. like I don't know. What about you? Um, <laughs> shit. How would you describe me? <laughs> well. I don't even know. Like, this bitch probably be feeling a thousand ways, too. Like, yeah, I was just see her today, and I'm like, damn, like, what's up with your friend this and that? And then you're like, yo, tell me a little bit about her. How you feel like she would describe you? Like, what type of person she is? I feel like she would describe me as um, a picky person. Um, definitely, like, closed off a little bit. That would not be the first things I would say. Oh my god! So, <laughs> I would, what would you say? What would you say? Like, give your description. I'm gonna get mine. I, I would say that's my best friend. Um, you know, she thorough. She's a baddie. Mm -hmm. Like she gets to the cheese. Mm -hmm. 
You know, she is a little standoffish, but you yeah. know, it's not that she don't fuck with you because people always ask me that. Yeah. Like, it's not that she don't fuck with you. It's just that she be busy. She stand off. Okay. And yeah, she be busy. So. <clears throat> so what do y'all feel like uh, niggas were all like every nigga y'all, y'all fuck with could agree about y'all? I ain't even answer. You ain't. Oh my fuck! Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> you wanna go? <laughs> yeah, because he ain't get my turn. All right, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> my fault. <laughs> I would describe my best friend as funny, creative, funny, stylish, <laughs> the bit like I don't know, but pretty, you know, mm-hmm. you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I had to say. <laughs> That's, yeah, I bet. And you said what niggas was saying. Yeah, which I feel like niggas agree on about y'all. Doggy dog. Um, I feel like they would say we Hollywood. Niggas always saying that, but we niggas not. y'all mess with would agree that y'all are Hollywood. Like bougie. Yeah, like bougie. People would think that. Yeah. Oh yeah. You think your niggas would agree that y'all are bougie? <laughs> yeah. Bougie. Damn. Little bougie. That's because niggas don't get the time of day no more. <laughs> niggas always say this shit like that. that. We're not bougie. bougie. Like what the fuck? I'm definitely. We saying a nigga that it's like you fucked with, like not like oh. niggas trying to come at y'all or something like that. Like, oh, like a f- a friend. Like no, a niggas nigga y'all that we talk to. With. Before and not no more. Yeah. Um, I don't know what them niggas would say. Them niggas is mad. <laughs> them niggas probably would say, fuck that bitch. Fuck them bitches. Child, it's Plural. a couple things they be saying, but. Yes, they would say some shit. They would say some shit. Because it never ended good. It's some shit that I'm going to sing next question on. Okay. All right. Now you got uh, Yeah. Like, my like, what's y'all plan? Like, what y'all want to get out of this? Like, what's something that y'all want to do? Like, I'm going to ask two questions. Like, out of this year, like, by the time this year, what is something y'all want to accomplish? And my other question is. When it's all said and done, what is something that y'all have to accomplish that'll mean a lot to you? Well, I feel like this year, I definitely want us to get more exposure, finish our second tape, and, like, definitely put ourselves in more opportunity-type places. Like marketing? Yeah, get better. Insta- well, I feel like how we've been coming, <coughs> we've been coming very strategically, the turtle winning race. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so at the end of the day we put all our ducks in a row and then you know we do our shit like and i feel like we really already on our way but to doing all the things that i feel like i want us to accomplish so that's it. another thing is we was just discussing we gonna definitely have our business up and running before the fucking year over before oh, yeah, we starting over, a business we gonna have this whole franchise Cause her angels is meant to be bigger than just a rap group. It's gonna yeah. be we starting a, a business franchise. This yeah. shit about to be big. Can mm-hmm. y'all say what type of business? No, we ain't gonna say yet. Mm-hmm. But we can say clothing for sure. Yeah. We gonna we gonna we ain't gonna elaborate too much but clothing, on our yeah, cause, business. Cause merch is always you know yeah, merch artists. Do. We gonna have we gonna have merch. Yeah. We gonna have merch, but. We definitely not gonna elaborate too much because yeah, we she want big people to be. We, yeah, we yeah. surprised. We surprised no no Nothing. We don't want no bad spirits, no yes. energy, no bitches looking down on our plan. But I appreciate yeah. that question. That's a good question. We talking like store though? Can we get or is it like? I would say we. I mean, eventually, but yeah, we working up from the ground up. So we just bought the definitely store. website, okay. shit like that. Yeah, you gonna see our website coming soon. All right, you got um, anything y'all pushing right now that like y'all want to tell them to tune into? Um. Tune in to, of course, reinvent it. Tape. Reinvent it. <laughs> <laughs> and we got to reinvent it first half out of the angels. You know what the fuck going on. Yes. And then yeah, we Yeah, look out got, for our new single. Yes, Michael Myers. <laughs> when that drop? Or when do they drop? Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. <laughs> it ain't not yet, but Let's we getting that shit done. Tune into the ground. Yeah, yes. type shit. All uh, right. Make in Texas. Texas, we going to Texas. Oh yeah, we performing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, on Tuesday, on fire. Tuesday we performing um, in Texas. Two shows. We, yo, I swear to God, Break we see. We just woke up. We woke up and they just said yeah, we was. Woke up. We woke up to it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and big shout out to our manager Alana. Period. Love she her. Always Love her. Damn. Get shit done, and that's you know she got us on another show down there in Texas too. So we about to turn that shit the fuck. And being up. under management with her has really been a help. Oh, like, no, I, got, I got a question. So, what would you, what would be like your advice for like? A rap like girl, a girl that want to rap, mm-hmm. and she don't really know how to start. Like, what would y'all advice yeah. be to them? Yeah, basically. Like, just start somewhere. Like, even if it's just writing in your your, your notes every day. I would say the shit. last thing to do is to be fucking scared, cause that shit don't pay nobody. And don't even give a fuck about what nobody's saying, yeah, because um, you gonna go through trial and error. Some shit might be ass. We everybody got ass tracks that they throw away. And honestly, I would just look at people who can't rap and look at all the views they got, all the people pushing them in their comments, and that shit is wicked. Honestly, fuck, because a lot care. of shit go off of popularity. But if you hot, you hot. So honestly, even if the fuck you not, it don't even matter. At this point, it don't even matter. People be having writers. All you need they is the con- Yeah, all you need that that part. So that's the question. Yeah, how do you build the confidence? Like all you need. 
All you need to do is practice at it. That it takes practice. Like go in front of your mirror. No, I would say fake it till you make it. That's, that's what, what I'm I do. But that's what I'm saying. Go in front of your that's mirror. Pop your shit. Yeah, I turn to the you big gotta first have a friend of yourself think. because if you don't make yourself believe you, nobody else will. So if you ha- if you have a friend of yourself and you go practice in front of yourself, pop your shit, mean mm-hmm. that shit like you speak it to an audience type shit, and you gonna start to feel it. It's gonna be an energy like that come through you, and you gonna get it. Like you just gotta practice. But never be scared and never. Don't practice for a year and some change, bitch. Yeah, you start rapping. You definitely gotta jump into it a little bit. Drop that shit the next week, girl. You definitely gotta jump off the porch with it. (laughs) All these, oh, we all off the porch already. If you just now trying into this shit, bitch, you better jump. You better jump. Leap in there, bitch. Because for one, you could just go to the studio and just say what the fuck you gotta say. You don't even gotta go to the news. (laughs) You could just go there to that motherfucker and punch in. How about that? Real rap. It's crazy. A girl just asked me that. She just asked me that today, yo. She just was saying. Um, damn, wait, no, I got it fucked up. She was saying how inspired she was by us and how she appreciate, she really, you know, admired the fact that we get to do this as best friends. So, tell me, so is image important, like, in like female rap as it is with men? Is it the same thing? Image, you said? Yeah, I think even more. It's even more important. I feel like, before, yes, lie to you not, because what did I tell you? I said strategically, once we start doing things the way, like, when, like before, we was getting, like, attention and stuff, but I feel like once we focused on our image and projecting it and what we wanted to give off into the world, that's when shit started really, like, turning around for us. Yeah. I feel like we definitely ma- paved the way for ourselves to be, like, look at me type shit. Like, mm, yeah. our clothes, our style, or this, or that, like, it made it made people gravitate and attracted to us to the to listen to what the fuck we gotta say. Right. So I feel like that definitely plays a part. Yeah, that's true. I feel like men they just gotta look like they got money, and it's kind of easier for them to go. Um, gotta, gotta figure out. I um, can't lie. I of, I do think it do matter because um Gunna he always look fly. So that's my fucking guy. <laughs> Gunna always fly. It make you wanna look at a lot of his stuff because he always got some shit on. <laughs> yeah. What you got, Mac? You kind of like wrapped it up. All right, one. yeah, for sure. All right, so before we got here, I just want to say I appreciate y'all for coming on. Yeah, mm-hmm. really appreciate it. They give me go when we when we send it up. I'm like, listen, this shit ain't matching. This math ain't math for you. Feel what I'm saying? Oh but yeah. We always we here now. We here. Appreciate you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I got a habit of, I got a habit of, I got a habit of being niggas on. I got a habit of, I got a habit of, I got a habit of doing niggas wrong. I got a habit of being niggas on. I got a habit of doing niggas wrong. I got a habit of being niggas lies. I got a habit of doing what I want. I got a habit of saying this for keeps if you coming with too much, then that nigga I'ma leave. I got a habit of being niggas on. I got a habit of doing niggas wrong. I got a habit of being niggas lies. I got a habit of doing what I want. I got a habit of saying this for keeps if you coming with too much, then that nigga I'ma leave. I got a habit of selling niggas dreams, got a real bad habit doing what they did to me. Poison what they call me right, doing everything he like Have a nigga wrapped around my finger for we in the night Coochie in the camera, let him see it, what he out of sight He licking through the screen, I'm dripping water, got him hard as ice Cut a check like Nike, like Adidas, he gon' earn his stripes Revving up this engine, only hit him to come lay the pipe Hardly be consistent, cause I'm really not the clingy type Rotating my niggas, they all in the different shit I like I got a habit of keeping two or three Got one just in case, maybe two for the cream And the last nigga, only one that's getting in between Got a couple niggas waiting to be put up on a thing He wanna wine and dime me Earn that spot, cause any nigga put in work to get what they don't got for real. Telling this nigga that he own it, but he rent it. And I know I said I loved you, but I didn't, stupid bitch. I ain't got a heavy of being niggas on. I ain't got a heavy of doing niggas wrong. I ain't got a heavy of being niggas lies. I ain't got a heavy of doing what I want. I ain't got a heavy of saying this for keeps. If he coming with too much, then that nigga, I'ma leave. I ain't got a heavy of selling niggas dreams. Got a real bad habit doing what they did to me. He know I'm a boss ass bitch. Uh huh. I'ma take it all, but I won't give a nigga shit. What? Cold ass bitch, I'ma leave a nigga sick. I got two dog niggas, let them fight like Vic. Bet like my bitch, it be hard for them to pick. Cut that nigga quick, get this hard for him to spin. I can name a nigga that I'm better off with. Huh? Bitch, you know you lying, he ain't never bullshit. I just stole one nigga, two nigga, three nigga, four. Pussy way too good, man, it's hard to tell me no. I ain't in a loving nigga, so I ain't in a saving hoe. If that nigga acting broke, then that nigga get exposed. Uh-huh. Bitches on my gram, love my life, say I'm gold. What? You can steal my man, cause I I switch them like my flow. Uh-huh. Bitches pick me, they don't ever get chose. I'm a real bitch, I will never be clone. Broke niggas never gain time. I'm a real bitch, yeah, I'm hard to find. Nigga ain't never had no pussy like mine. Never, ever, ever. <laughs>
being a young bitch too fine. And my shit wetter. You know that a bitch too fly. I'm a trendsetter. When you got a vibe like mine, it don't get better. <laughs> nope. When you got a vibe like mine, it don't get better. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. The doghouse.